Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Laughing Giggles Daycare where kids laugh and they definitely giggle. Today, I'm about to show you guys activities that I put out on my light table, all about light table activities. Let's go. I just got these and I'm gonna post the link and I love these. Uh, they get really bright too. These are like a sketch board, light table board, but we're using it as play light table boards as well. So um, I got three of these. They have them in different colors. I believe they only have these colors. Black, the green one, and the pink one. And it gets pretty bright as well. So I'm gonna post the link, like I said, and let's go ahead and work on the pink one. Okay, so what the kids have to do is build a frame around the picture. So I did a short video on this, and you can go back and look at it as well. But they build a frame, and they just put it down on there. Okay, I have to get this situated, y'all. <clears throat> I broke my light, uh, my, uh, what do you call that, ring light? So I got to get another one. So I'm working with the best light I can work with, please. Excuse the lighting. So what they're doing is just taking out the uh, Play-Doh in there. Roll, roll, on good gross motor skills. Rolling, 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 rolling. And I, some of them I have to help them with it, but they're just building. And some of them can't, you know, just do like, you know, make it out of the frame like that. So they just take little pieces and they just build it piece by piece. Okay. That's one activity. We have a bear uh, activity as well. Give the bear some band-aids. Some of them I have to just tear it off and I stick it onto the um, the canner, in edge of this canner, and they can just pull it off. Or some can just pull it and tear it. And they just build. Use different type of tape. They want different color tapes because I have a whole container. I have up here a tape. And they can just put the band-aid where the ouchie is. Okay, we also have a bumblebee. Put stripes on the bumblebee. So I let them know what color stripes does a bumblebee have and I may show them like a, a model and they put the black stripes on the bumblebee. So here's the bumblebee. They did the monster, give the monster arms and legs. I did a short on that as well, a present. make a ribbon on a present box. And this is their favorite, they love this one. Let's see, let me find it. The birthday cake, candles. And it says, put five candles on the cake. But I asked them how old they are, and if they're four, two or three, they can put two of them on there as well. And last but not least for this one, we have the house, I mean the dog, the bird house. Put a roof on the birdhouse. And these are shape mats, Play-Doh shape mats. And I just put it on here and it builds shape as well. It's just the different shapes. We got the trapezoid, the oval, even have it in color. This is black and white and I printed it in color as well. well since we got three light tables and they can just, you know, we're doing this activity working on our shapes, you know, fine motor as well. So they have, I have enough. We got the heart, triangle, circle, star, and oval. I think I said that. Yeah, so we have them in black and white and color. <clears throat> and I just make the shape. They can stretch it to make the shape. And some of them like to get pinches off of it and roll it to make a shape. And that's fine too. Just 
press it, press it, press it, press it. And we got the oval. And so with the pond, um, Play-Doh mats, it comes with the turtle, the um, dragonfly, it comes with the fish, we have the lily, that's beautiful, I like that, the cattail, the pond, there's a lot of problem solving going on here, a lot, because they have to get it to shape up. And then the little gray. I don't have any gray Play-Doh, but we'll just improvise. The lily pad. This is the rocks. And the frog. Stretch it. And I just roll it into the ball. Roll. So just a little bit of orange. I go through my the inventory for Play-Doh, and if it's hard and all messed up, I throw it away and just do the ones. Cause honestly, I don't like to, <laughs> I don't like to make. I know it's a waste of money, just you know, for some people to just keep buying Play-Doh, but I, I don't have the patience to make Play-Doh often unless it's a special activity. But I do have this recipe, Starburst uh, Play-Doh. If you haven't seen it, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do that. I have to go get some stuff first, and I'm going to do a vlog on that as well. So I have a list of things coming up. And I just take that dry erase marker. I have some dry erase markers out. And I just build it. And then they write it. Little mini erasers. And I got these off of Amazon. If I can find it, I will post the link. And this is just the numbers. And this is from Pocket at Preschool as well. And since we're doing um, space unit, I have some um, mini eraser and some robots. Robot and um, the rocket mini erasers I got from the dollar store like four years ago. And this was a Valentine's pack, um, package, a dollar, there was a, no, I didn't get it from a dollar store, I got it from Target dollar spot. It was just um, the Valentine's little packet thing. And it came with some cards. So I just threw away the cards and just used the mini erasers. And I could just put six, And I think it goes up to 10. Yes, it goes up to 10. Okay. And this is uh, an awesome uh, name. Help them with their names and writing their names. Um, I put this on the light table as well for something fun, a fun activity when we're doing um, practicing our name, writing our names. I just used a dry erase uh, pocket. I got this off of uh, Amazon. I'll post a link. And I printed these off of the uh, food and nutrition packet I got off of um, Pocket of Preschool. Um, and they, I just, uh, you know, I, I did, of course, my name. I have different, the different kids' names. And they just take their dry erase marker and they just write it. Okay, and a freestyle as well. They just freestyle as well. So they can also build their name. These are the magnet letters. And if they have double um, letters in their name, I have um, 
extra that I put out. We got the uppercase. We also have the lowercase. Lowercase ones. We also have the block letters, and I use these for my um, wood, the wood letters. Sorry, the wood letters, and I use these for the puzzles that I have. And they can just build with the wood letters as well. I don't put out all the letters, all the, you know, different type of letters all at once. I may use the wood letters um, sometimes and then the magnet letters sometimes as well. We also have, I use the lowercase late scene uh, alphabet letters as well. And these have double, double, uh, if they have double letters in their name. So these have double letters and I like these because it has the, the double letters too. The translucent um, letters and numbers. Um, I just use these actually for the ones who are still struggling with their um, their letters recognition and their numbers. And I just put down some letters, not that many. And uh, I just you know ask them where is the blue in the blue in and you know and they just pull it if they don't recognize it i can just say green z green d yellow u blue in so i work with them on um the ones who don't know um and can't recognize their letters so that's how i work with them um with these translucent letters and the kids who can recognize their numbers um they can use these and the ones who, who can't recognize the numbers right now, we do games and we can just get my little mini erasers. So, and, and they can put any manipulative in here, any type of like mini erasers, um, pom poms, um, I don't know, rocks, whatever, you know, um, I put out. So five, let's put five rockets in the basket. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's a good um, activity, math activity. You know, you can um, work with them on learning how to count in their math. And yeah, and they stay engaged with these as well. This is another activity that's fun. I just put out some pom-poms in a basket, put it on a light table, and I have to go to the dollar store and get some little uh, containers that's smaller, but for now, I have the uh, sensory bottle. I have a sensory bottle, and I just put it on here, and the numbers, and they're just counting as well. So if they pull three, they need three pom-poms, and they just put it in there, and they just keep going for And I would like for them to keep going until they fill it up and then they can just dump it back out and start over again. That's a fun activity as well. So you guys, this is just part one. I have to do part two because I want to, I don't want to prolong you guys because I have tons and tons of light table activities. Yes. So um, this is part one. Um, I'm hoping to do a part two next week, Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Hit the bell for notifications so you guys can get, you know, notified or be notified whenever I post my videos. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, being our friends. If you're not subscribed to our channel, love, love, love new friends. Consider subscribing. Could you guys give us a thumbs up? Like, comment, share for the awareness. Till we meet again, you guys be blessed and remember that you are loved.